Welcome to the Arts in Medicine studio. Hi, Lizzie. Hi, Nitsa. I am thrilled to share with you a stained glass project that I just made, inspired by a visit with Dr. Wilma Siegel to Patterson, New Jersey. Cool. We drove to St. Paul Episcopal Church, walked inside, and believe it or not, it was designed by Louis Comfort Tiffany and the entire church is glowing with the effects of color. We had such a fabulous time and I realized that most of us could use some light coming through the window in different colors. So what did I do? I played. So why don't you play with me? What you need to make your stained glass project would be a contact paper, scissors, cellophane paper, and a kind of frame. I used a pre-cut cardboard frame, but if you just want to use uh, something you make yourself, just cut strips of paper, take the contact sheet out of the sticker-like paper it's in and glue it on to the paper frame. In my case, I was inspired by beautiful flowers I received from a friend from very far away. And what I did, I just took a petal and covered it with cellophane paper and then just cut one leaf. Then I cut a bunch more and I arranged it on my coffee table in a beautiful flower arrangement. Using the contact paper and the frame, I just pressed the sticky side on what I made on a table and lifted it back up. And the yellow petals just look great. All I had to do is continue being inspired. I cut many pieces of self and paper decorated and finished my project by placing it by the window and enjoying new light. Wow, Nita, that is gorgeous. That's such a good idea. I love that the contact paper offers a sticky surface for you to press on whatever you really want on your stained glass. And with the cellophane paper, it's easy because, you know, I made so many mistakes. I tried different colors and different compositions. And sometimes I just didn't like it. And the cellophane paper can be easily pulled out of the contact sheet and be reworked on. We love mistakes, don't we? Oh yeah, that's just part of making art for sure. Would you like to try it yourself? Yeah, I'd love to try it. I just don't have contact paper or cellophane handy. Uh, but what I was thinking with the supplies I have, I have some wax paper and some crayons. And wax paper is really good for this type of thing because you can see light through it. And crayons are also good because they're made out of wax. So wax on wax means that they'll stick together nicely. So all I did was I cut out some wax paper and then I could trace things on the wax paper using my crayons or just free form my own design. And wouldn't you know, when I stuck it up against the window, I got this awesome colored light coming through too. So that's just another way that you can bring stained glass window into your own home, into your room and and you don't even have to go as far as Patterson, but sounds like it's worth a trip. That sounds really nice that you could actually use different materials. If you guys have an idea that we didn't think of, I love to play, please send it to me to amnita at gmail.com. And perhaps Lizzie and I will be inspired to do another episode and show everyone what else we could do with light. I'm sure we will. Thanks everyone. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.